I describe this as being, it, it's bewitched, but not bewitched. Can you sort of elaborate for us? Well, hopefully it's an homage to the series and at the same time it works as a film in terms of being a romantic comedy um, that's, that's about two different people, not about Samantha and Darren. Did you go back and watch the old show? And oh, were yeah. There any sort of, were but there no, well, I actually went back and watched it, but I'd seen every, almost every episode because when I was growing up, it was my favorite, favorite series. Uh, that and the Brady Bunch. Talk to us about <laughs> Elizabeth, uh, about Elizabeth Montgomery especially, because there are physical similarities, uh, which is a compliment from me, by the way. Um, and, you know, did, did, you, did, did you try to emulate her at all? Uh, yeah, I watched it a bit, but at the same time, I tried to just make it my own because I, I think when something like that doesn't work is when you get, it's the same with when you were doing a novel, when you get too kind of caught up by the um, boundaries of it, then um, it, doesn't, it doesn't sort of feel like it has any new voice or new energy, you know? You can feel that the actors feel confined. Um, I have to ask about the nose on the twitch uh, because everybody asks me about it. <laughs> it's fun. And, and yeah, it is fun. I, it's fun to be able to do magic is what's fun. Right? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> um, was it physically a tough thing to learn to do? Um, it was more like, God, I hope I get it right. And, um, and I just watched, I watched her and I would slow her down, like put it in slow-mo. And, um, and then I'd get a mirror and I'd look in the mirror and I'd look back at her and I'd try to emulate it. And with the sound effect, see if you yeah. always have the sound effects. The sound, sound effects help a lot. Um, you know, there's the old adage of, Dying is hard, comedy is harder. I wonder if you agree with that. Um, I think both are, to be honest. I mean, I just think, or whether they're hard or not, I just think it's more like each requires its own amount of energy and commitment. And particularly when you're working with someone like Will, you have to be alert and you have to be um, kind of not tired <laughs> because you have to be listening. With comedy, you have to be um, willing to move and change. And we had lived a lot. and. And um, and that's important, you know. Um, is, is it more fun? That the spontaneity is what is what I think makes comedy interesting. Is it more fun for you to do a comedy to do Bewitched, say, than the interpreter? No, it's not even about fun. It's more like if if I couldn't do both, I would, if I was just doing one, I'd be bored. And I think for me, the idea of being able to do a whole array of things is great. That's what I like, and um, never being kind of pigeonholed into one particular role or idea. You've been extremely busy um, and very prolific, it seems. Uh, do, you, do you feel like, my God, my, my days are Well, this are is crammed. my last film coming out. For, really? I've taken a break earlier this year and I'm not sort of, I'm doing a film now, but it won't come out for ages. And so I've kind of slowed down. <laughs> You've caught me in a more mellow phase now. It's a good thing. Thank you very much for this. All <laughs> Thank the best you. to you. Uh, you were absolutely a blast at the kicking screaming premiere, I must tell you. Oh, it was, good. It was really, I mean, you probably don't even know you're doing the line, and it just, it was, it was really oh. lovely stuff. I'm glad the movie did well. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah. Did, are we speeding? We're oh, rocking we're, 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 yeah. we're, But it was, uh, congratulations on that, because I think it was a good movie, and Thanks, it was Mike. family stuff with right. that sort of hole between nothingness and Madagascar. Yes. And it made a cool oh. 50 million, and it's a good thing. Good. And you'll, yes. you'll have a movie you can show to your son. I hope. You can show that. You'll be able to. He hates soccer, though. Isn't he too little to hate suck? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he will hate it. He will hate it. Yes, Because I love it so much. No, I force it on him. But I think that's sort of the first thing you can do. Yeah. Oh, Elf. Elf, Elf too. No, Elf, Elf too. Elf. Except he saw a little bit of Elf and he started crying. So I don't know what that sign is. Okay. Yeah, the clothes. Maybe it was. Yes. The tights. Yeah. Yeah. Dad in tights. Not good. Oh, well, you're a fit guy. <laughs> yeah, I can pull it off. Too bad if I wore tights. <laughs> <laughs> it would be very scary. Be a witch. So, <laughs> right. Dick York, Dick Sargent. Who wins? Uh, in what? Like a, 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 a battle to the death? Hmm. What, are they wrestling? What are they doing? Are they, is it like a gun duel? What kind of weapons do they have? Uh, let's say Dick Sargent has like a pitchfork and Dick York, um, has a machete. <laughs> Dick York. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I thought. 
So it would be sort of hard for them both to do it now because they're not here. Right. But, but no, but we're talking about hypothetically. Yeah, exactly, yeah. hypothetically. Yeah. Although in my world, it's usually pretty close anyway. <laughs> so um, the, the, the dealio is it's bewitched without being bewitched. Right. Um, and we've had Nora, it, it took Nora 19 hours to explain <laughs> the plot of this film. So I won't have you do it. Um, okay. But uh, your guy is actually one that we, we sort of haven't seen you play before. He's, he's yeah. extremely dislikable, if you ask right. me. And he should be killed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's an well, asshole. that's what I'm hearing a lot. Uh, <laughs> no, yeah, but I mean, no, it's really a yeah, performance. He's a vain, we... kind of, you know, vain, shallow actor who's, uh, uh, yeah, a, a kind of a jerk. And uh, uh, but you can tell that he's just, you know, a product of his handlers and and the and the Hollywood thing. And I couldn't tell that. Really? I thought he was. Wow, really? But he comes around. Yeah. No, you don't think so, right? <laughs> I know, it's he, true. He abuses her when he's done. <laughs> he does movie, things with that broomstick. He Bruce goes right back to... Absolutely. Um, no, Give me back my career. It's, yeah. uh, it's a fun to... Use play. your magic. <laughs> is it fun to play? It's a play. I mean, yes. you're known as somebody who's not that guy. And it's fun to play a crazy jerk actor. Yeah, it really is, I have to say. Um, I... Yes, you are. I loved it too much. <laughs> <laughs> um, working with Nicole Kidman, uh, like the one of the most beautiful She's humans. She's so great. She's, uh, I mean, as as talented as she is, she's nice and funny and sweet, and uh, she smells good. Hey, Nicole, what were you talking to me? <laughs> Uh, but she's like, I was amazed at how, I mean, it's going to sound silly, but for this type of movie, she's so good. She's just kind of shows that she can do anything. We love her, and right. we love you, too. Thank and you. I thank you very much. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. Oh, sure. <laughs> sure. I'm glad you liked it, right? He's acting like he just got off the Tony Awards. <laughs> uh, I was going to go to, did you, did you watch the Tony's last night? Huh? Did you watch the Tony's last night? I sure night? did. What did you, uh, I, I, you think of Christina? Oh, don't ask me that. <laughs> I kept think I kept thinking I've got to watch the movie again. It's after seeing it, I just needed. To no, but you know, all I can think of, including myself, is Gwen. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, sweet charity is Gwen. I will say one thing. I would give them this note: Don't dance so hard. Don't work so hard. All of Fosse's stuff was just very. We used to say it was like having cognac in your belly and it was burning. And that's the way you do Fosse. That you don't a, dance. That isn't what we saw last night. Um, but it's, it's, it makes you want. She's very pleasing. It, may, it did make me want to go back and see the movie. And, and I'm sure you understand that, that most people have seen the movie. And yeah, I know Gwen from. The, the cast album, but that's it. You know, you are Sweet Charity, uh, for all intents and purposes. Well, to you, but to me, she is, so. Because you've seen it, and you know. Mm -hmm. um, did you go back and watch the Bewitched episodes? Because, I mean, you're not playing Endora. No, I wasn't but... interested in that series. Really? <laughs> no, and I never saw it. I Maybe once or twice, something like that. I didn't, I wasn't interested in it. Well, you were busy working, and uh, the TV, you know, when it was on, it, TV probably wasn't a big deal. You're too busy. Mm -hmm. um, it, it happens a lot. Um, I love the show, and I mean, I think it's, it, really, it really is a good show, um, so I think that it, it's interesting. But people tell me they were big fans, and they watch it every week. I, I, I only do that with the news, so... Well, it's a it's, it's a good diversion from the news. Although we probably should pay more attention to that. <laughs> did 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 you have did you have fun did you have fun though with this character because I mean yes. she's big and, and and especially I wanted to talk to you about the scene where she nods to the audience when she makes her d debut because because <laughs> it's it's really fun and I'm just wondering if it was fun to play. Oh yeah, it was. But you know that's very that's very scientific stuff uh, when you play that kind of broad comedy. And you can't teach anybody that. Now, I don't know that I'm that good at it. You have to just let yourself go and um, become disciplined at the same time that you're free-flowing, if you know what I mean. This is what Will is so brilliant at. And it was fascinating watching him be such a normal guy. He's just so normal that you... If he showed up for an audition for a comedy character, you'd never cast him if you asked him about his life. 
But if you asked him to become, um, you know, a, a flying spaceman elf from Mars, he becomes it. He's an impersonator of imagination or something like that. Uh, Nicole Kidman, your, your experience with her and your observations of her as an actor. Yeah, we got very close. We were, we're buddies. And we would go out and to parties and things. And I got to know her. And she's, uh, she's I call her an alien. And I tell her that. And she doesn't mind if I say that. Because she's so otherworldly. She really has this quality of not being one of us which is probably underneath. That's her support system, probably, for being such a good actress. And this girl is really a good actress. One of the best, besides Meryl, I've worked with. She's in that category. And when I saw this performance coming out of her, this little, you know, cute little innocent thing, and look at the rest of her stuff. But you saw it in To Die For with Gus Van Sant's movie. <coughs> She's the best. Bless your heart. Thank you so much. It's always a pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> we'll talk more about you. And